Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and in today this video I will be showing you the newest best clothing glitches of all time in GTA 5 online and as the video does go on the clothing glitches do get better but if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notification as well don't forget to like this video as well let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video for the first clothing glitch I will literally be showing you on how to get three different joggers all at once. So the three different joggers you will be getting through this method will be the green joggers, orange joggers, and purple joggers. Now you will need to make your way over to any clothing store on the map. Now go over to the front counter. Now you will need to make sure you go over to your saved outfits and delete every single saved outfit. Now once you've done that, you will need to back out from the front counter. Now open up your pause menu, go over to online, and go over to swap character, and accept that alert that shows up on your screen. Now you should be in a small room like this. Now you will need to make sure you hover above the second slot character and push edit. Now, if it says something about copying a rank over, just decline it. That shows up on your screen. Now, you will need to make sure you have a female character. Now, if it's not a female character, don't worry. Just on the edit, just go over to the gender and put it on female. And if it's already a female, just basically put save and continue. And accept the alert that shows up on your screen afterwards. And that should be spawning you into a random lobby like this. Now, make your way over to any clothing store on the map over to the accessories and remove any sort of accessories that are on the female character including gloves rings all that now you will need to make your way over to the front counter now go over to the outfits called the santa costumes now this part's very important so on the first santa costume outfit buy it now make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number two then go back over to the Santa costumes outfits and on the number two outfit save that as an outfit on slot number three go back to the Santa costumes as well on the last Santa costume outfit purchase it and save that as an outfit on slot number four now back out from the front counter open up your interaction menu and easy way out and that should be spawning you outside of the clothing store and you're back alive again now open up your pause menu go over to online go over to creator and accept that alert that shows up on your screen after you choose creator now you should see a little menu on your screen that pops up on the top left like this create a race create a land race afterwards now you should see a different menu on your screen like this. Now you will need to go over to the race details and on the title and description put anything for both of them as well. And as the photo, just take a random photo as well. Now you will need to go over to the maximum players, put it on three. And on the route type, put it on point to point, the default class put it on super open up your pause menu and warp over to the lsia afterwards and once you do spawn in you will need to find the placement called the placement triggers and put one right here now afterwards go over to the lobby camera take a random lobby camera now you will need to go over to the now continue to place the checkpoints till you see on the bottom right that the race length is above one mile exactly now once you are done with that back out twice and go over to test race and you should be spawning into a race like this now basically complete the race and get all the objectives and once you do finish the race an alert should be popping up on your screen like this now once it does show up on your screen accept that alert that shows up now ignore the top left menu now open up your pause menu afterwards go over to online 
go over to choose character and accept that alert that shows up on your screen once again. You should be loading into a small room like this. Now you will need to make sure you hover above the female character on slot number 2 and make sure you delete her. Now once you do delete her, hover above the male character on slot number 1 and return to GTA and accept the alert that shows up on your screen afterwards. Now that should be putting you into the story mode like this. Now once you do load into story mode, open up your pause menu, go over to online, go over to play GTA online, go over to invite only session and accept that alert. Now once you do load in, make your way over to any clothing store on the map and go over to the saved outfits and save your current outfit on slot number 20. And as you can see on the saved outfits afterwards, if you cycle through them, you should see the green, orange, or purple joggers. But we are not done yet. Back out from the front counter and apply the first jogger outfit once. Now, once you do that, basically you will need to wait a few seconds so the top could disappear off the joggers like this. Now, once it does disappear, basically save this as an outfit on the old jogger slot and continue to do this method to get rid of all the tops from the joggers and the joggers will stick and also you could change anything on the joggers afterwards now like this video subscribe if you're new and let's move on to the second clothing glitch of this video now i will be showing you on how to get the maintenance gear and the maintenance gear does come with a belt on there with keys now you will need to make your way over to the marker that has a letter u on it now once you're there you will need to register as secure reserve and now once you're there you will need to go over to the marker and press right on the d-pad and that should be launching you into the job mission Now on this job menu, don't really mess with anything to be honest, just go over to confirm settings, push play, and accept that alert. Now the same thing goes for the second job menu, just go over to ready up and launch it. Now once you do launch it, basically you will need to make your way over to the apartment. I just basically skipped the trip so it won't be boring for you guys. And also once you do go over to the apartment, just basically hack the computer. Once you do hack the computer, leave the apartment and make your way over to the next objective. Now, make your way over to the letter A on the map. Now, do not go directly to it, but on the left side of the street, you should see a maintenance gear icon like this. Now, once you're near the letter A, ignore the letter A and make your way over to the maintenance gear instead. Now, go over to the van. And press right on the d-pad and you should see your character putting on the maintenance gear like this now move away from the van you will need to open up your interaction menu afterwards go over to style spam right on the d-pad on player mode for roughly about one to two minutes straight now leave your interaction menu open and try to get kicked for being afk you will get kicked, but depending on what platform it is, it might take a little bit. But once you do get kicked, accept that alert, and you should be loading into a random lobby like this. And you should see you have the maintenance gear on like this. And as long as you save this as an outfit, it does stick. Don't forget to like this video up, subscribe if you're new, and let's move on to the other clothing glitch of this video. So for this clothing glitch, I will be showing you on how to get military camo pouches. Now you will need to make your way over to any clothing store on the map. Now go over to the front counter. Go over to the Cairo Perico Heist. Find the grassland armor section and purchase any one that you do like. And save this as an outfit one time. And it doesn't matter which lot it is. Now back out twice. Go over to the Heist Kovras. And purchase one that have a gas mask on. 
it doesn't matter which one, and make your way over to the nearest telescope so you could do the telescope glitch. Now basically you run past the telescope, hitting right on the d-pad and pull away from the telescope. Open up your interaction menu and apply the saved outfit you just made. Close your interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and you should see the gas mask merge onto the saved outfit like this. Now simply make your way over to the mask store once you're done. Overwrite the saved outfit that you saved earlier once. Now back out from the mask store and apply the saved outfit you just made four times very quickly so the glitch could work correctly. Now open up your pause menu, go over to online, go over to jobs, go over to play jobs, go over to rockstar created, go over to the missions, and start up the mission called a tight end of a job and accept that alert. Now on this job menu, just don't really mess with anything. Just go over to confirm settings and launch the mission by yourself and accept the alert that shows up on your screen afterward like this. Now that should be putting you into the actual job mission and you should see no gas mask if you did do the glitch correctly like I did. Now you will need to make your way over to the nearest ammunition store on the map. Now once you're there, go over to the alpha section and override the saved alpha once. Back out from the alpha section, quit the job through the jobs list through your phone like this. And that should be putting you into a random lobby like this. Now this part is optional, you can either go over to the nearest ammunition store or any clothing store on the map. And once you're there, if you were to go to the tops and cycle through probably like 80% of the tops, it lets you keep the military pouches on and the military pouches do stick. Now also you could put on a different top, gloves, change the pants, change the shoes, mask and a helmet as well. Like this video up, subscribe if you're new and let's move on to the last clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you on how to get multiple colored joggers. Now the colored joggers are probably the best looking joggers that are in GTA 5 online. Now you will need to make your way over to any clothing store on the map. Now make your way over to the front counter. And make sure you save your current outfit that you have on right now. And save this as an outfit on slot number 19 or 20. Then delete the rest of your outfits afterwards. You will need to open up your pause menu afterwards. Go over to online. And basically go over to swap character. And accept the alert that shows up on your screen afterwards like this. Now you should be loading into a small room like this. Now make sure you go over to the second slot character and make it a female character. Just basically go over to edit and if you have a female character just push edit and if it says something about copying a rank just decline it. But on the female character basically just go over to edit and put save and continue. Now if you have a male character like me just go over to the sex and put it on female and put save and continue afterwards. And once an alert shows up on your screen, accept the alert afterwards. You should be loading into a random lobby like this afterwards. Now make your way over to any clothing store on the map afterwards. And remove any sort of accessories that are on your female character like this. Now once you do move the accessories, go over to gloves. And on the gloves, you will need to buy the black woolen gloves. Now you will need to go over to the shoe section. Go over to the high heel boots. And buy the deluxe midnight combat. It should be number 24 out of 55. Now make your way over to the pants section. Now go over to the sport pants. And buy the first one. It is called the spotted muscle pants. Now once you bought the first one, make your way over to the top section. 
Now, once you're at the top section, go over to the busters and purchase the Till Lace Buster number 13 out of 33. It should be this blue one right here. Now, continue to stay at the top section afterwards. Now, go over to the section called the Sports Jackets. And you will need to buy the blue puffer jacket. This one right here. Go over to the hats. Go to caps. Go over to the forward on the caps. And buy the gray woodland cap. Now don't worry. This hat will disappear later on. After the glitch ends. Now you will need to make your way over to the front counter. Now once you're at the front counter. Make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number two. Then back out from the front counter. Open up your interaction menu and choose the option to easy way out afterwards so it can make the game save. Once you do spawn in, just go over to online and go over to creator and accept the alert that shows up on your screen afterwards. And on the top left, you should see a little blue menu on your screen once again. Now go over to create a race. Now create a land race afterwards. And you should see a different menu on your screen like this on the top left. Just go over to the race details on the title and description. Put anything on them as well. And on the photo, just take a random photo once again. And on the maximum payers, make sure you put it on 3. And on the route type, make sure you put it on point to point. And on the default class, just put on super so the race can finish fast. Now you will need to go over to the LSIA on the map and warp over there. And you should see the job menu on your screen once again. Just back out twice. Go over to the placements, place a random trigger on any part of the map. Now, go over to the lobby camera, take a random picture once again. Now, go over to the checkpoints, and on the checkpoints, continue to place the checkpoints to see on the bottom right that the race length is above one mile exactly. It has to be above one mile so the glitch could work. And now once it is above one mile, just back out twice and find the option to SS test the race. And you should be loading into the race like this. Now all you want to do is basically complete the race and get all the objectives afterwards. Now once you do finish the race, an alert should show up on your screen like this. Just basically just push OK. Now you will need to open up your pause menu. Go over to online and go over to swap character and accept the alert that shows up on your screen afterwards. You should be loading into a small room like this. This part's very important. You will need to hover above the female character and delete her and accept the alert that shows up on your screen. Now once you do delete the female character, you will need to hover above the male character on slot number one and basically return to GTA. If an alert does show up on your screen, just accept it. You should be loading into story mode afterwards. Now, once you do load into story mode, just basically go over to online, go over to pay GTA online and load into a invite only section and accept the alert. And only because you do load into lobbies quicker this way. Now, once you do load in, Make your way over to any clothing store on the map. Then go over to the front counter. Now you will need to make sure you save your current outfit on slot number 10. Now afterwards, continue to stay at the front counter. Now go over to the Gorka suits. And this part is optional. You could purchase any Gorka suit that you do like. It doesn't have to be the one I purchased. Now we will be making these into joggers. Now you will need to tell a person to invite you to the job called It's a G thing. You could either host it or you could tell someone to invite you to it. Now if you want to host it, there will be a link down below in the video description on how to bookmark it. Now once you're in the menu, 
make sure you put the clothing on player safe the outfits that part is very important and basically if you're the host invite someone and if you're not the host it's basically both of y'all ready up now you should be loading into a job menu like this and on the owned outfits make sure you click one to the right now both of y'all readies up as well once you're done and that should be actually putting you into the actual job mission now once you do spawn in you will need to wait about 10 to 15 seconds exactly now once that is over you will need to pull up your phone and quit the job through the jobs list through your phone now once you do spawn into a random lobby you should see you have the gorka suit outfit now go over to the nearest street vehicle register as secure reserve or mc go over to the secure reserve or mc management go over to the style now in the street vehicle you will need to enter the vehicle and once you're in the, in the vehicle over to the secure reserve management or the mc style click one to the right and one to the left now close the interaction menu and exit the vehicle and you should see you have the Gorka joggers on like this. Now this outfit does stick. Make sure you save this as an outfit before you start changing the accessories on it. Now if you guys want a part 2 of this video, you already know what to do. Like this video up to 100 likes. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you on the next GTA 5 online video. Peace.